right, now I'm gonna start doing a lot more teaching. Like how do you run a YouTube channel? Boom. 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 That's the video I just did. It's a screen cap. I was looking at a Facebook post of my mom. Okay, it's a screen cap this. called Mobizen. Get you know, it. Jesus and Mother Mary. Station of the cross. Where he's dead. Go find it's that other video if you want to watch it. I don't have time to keep recording everything. Now, here's my other secret. I go into my Google Keep. And I have got a title already made for every fucking video. Same title. You don't like it, so what? I don't care. Oh, but I can't find it. I can't tell anyone how to find your, your videos. And now I can shut up. I don't care. I'm not changing it. I would have to change 3,300 fucking videos, titles, and it would take forever. And I'm not going to do it. Because it's very easy for me to just go in uh, YouTube Studio and click Select All and change the title to the same thing. Which, by the way, this title is fucking awesome. Because it goes a little something like this. Hit it. And I suggest you do the same if you want to make money. If not, then don't make money. Okay, I put title. H question mark. Trademark. That's the helpology question. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? Close parentheses. Trademark. Now, why do we have that on every title? Well, because I'm brainwashing you. For good. I'm going to make you become a helpologist. Every time you read the title, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works, you're going to start to memorize naturally through rote, R-O-T-E, or repetition, the helpology question, which is the most helpful thing I can give anyone. It's the most helpful gift you can give anyone in history. More than money, more than anything, really. Except the gift of salvation through Yahusha and his death, burial, resurrection on the state. If you have faith in that, and you are saved, and you're going to gotta keep getting saved. You can't just fuck off and do whatever you want and expect to be in the kingdom. you got to read the scriptures. It's very clear. You can not You can lose your salvation. You don't believe it? Well, fuck you. Just read the scriptures. There's plenty of verses that say Paul himself was like, I'm worried I might lose my salvation. Okay, so if Paul, the fucking super evangelist and apostle and all these things, an apostle is like a, a church planter, okay? And there are apostles today that go around planting churches. Hell, I'm an apostle. I plant the Helpology Church through YouTube. This is a church. It's also a vlog, and it's also a business, and it's a nonprofit Christian ministry. You try to label what Helpology is, and you'll never be able to do it with just one word. Unless you say it's a service, okay? So anyways, it's the most helpful service in history. You'll find that out to be true. And because I did set a goal to become the most helpful person of all time, and I'm realizing that goal already, and now it's just got to be proven to the world through this work that I'm doing now with you. So, and it's got to go by all over the world in every language. So, H question mark. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? And the answer is give only one peso now. You know, I'm American and Filipino. The way to give money, and right now we're focusing just on the Philippines because that's where I live, and that's where everything's going to come out of, is Puerto Princesa, the Helpology World Education Center. Okay, I live in it. I'm in the executive suite, number three, of the Helpology World Education Center, and downstairs is the front office that on May 1st is going to be mine. I'm going to own it, just like I own this executive suite, and it's in my name, however... The nonprofit Christian ministry is not a 501c3. That costs too much money. Why would we spend money on all that when we need that money for the poor and the homeless around the world and mostly here in Porto? The starving women and children and mothers that are breastfeeding their babies in the hospital, homeless with no place to live. So anyways, help us. Help them. Now it says give only one peso now. Of course, you can give more if you like, but this all we need is one, one fucking peso. No one's even donated yet. One fucking peso. So you guys are cheap. 
Stingy motherfuckers. Start donating at least one peso. Hell, you should be donating 10% of your income somewhere. Why not Helpology? Unless you've got something more helpful than Helpology, like your church or something, you believe that that's more helpful, that's going to change the world more than Helpology is going to change the world, then fucking give your 10%, your tithe to them. Okay? But if you... And the tithe's not even commanded. You don't even have to give if you don't want to. But it's a great fucking principle because when you give to Yah, he owes you fucking money. Says you can't outgive Yah. And that, man, there's so many scriptures that say basically when you give him money, he, it's like a loan you're giving him and he's got to pay you back as long as you're following the commandments. Okay, if you're not, then you don't owe you shit. Anyways, give only one peso now. And then I got the American flag and Filipino flag because I'm American and Filipino. And then it just says Gcash. And that's mom, well, I'm not going to say that. That's just the phone number there for, for the... Well, I'm going to say it. that's mom, Faith, and my wife's, okay? My wife's mom, Faith. That's her cell number right now. My Gcash, I still have to get set up. I have to get, like, a Filipino ID and all this other shit. Well, this is basically a Filipino ID, and I'm going to get that soon. So, once I do, then I will switch it so mom, Faith, won't have to be bothered with getting all this money in her account and then managing that for the homeless and the poor, It'll just go through mine because that's my job. Her job is a full-time teacher, seventh grade in a Borland, at a Borland National High School. She doesn't even be bothered with all this extra work of trying to find out where funds should go and things like that. That's my job. Okay, so it'll be switched to my number soon. And that's easy for me to do. I just click a couple clicks and I'll show you later in um, YouTube Studio and it changes every title on my 3,300 videos. That's why they're all going to be the same, and I'm not going to change it back because you do it if you want. You go in and fucking try to change 3,300 plus video titles to a different fucking title. It'll never happen, ever, in my lifetime, because I can't even fucking upload the goddamn videos I'm making right now. I got to live and do things and see people and talk, and life goes on and on, and then you got a little bit of time each day, and I don't even fucking work. I'm disabled and retired. I got all the time in the world to do whatever I want every day. And I still can't get this shit done. And I'm not going to hire an assistant because if you want to do something right, you got to do it yourself. Because then I have to fucking talk to the assistant and say, why did you fucking make that? You got an extra space in there when I don't have want a space like this? I'm going to be like, dude, I'm going to be wasting my time trying to talk to some fool who thinks he's smarter than me because he's younger. And he's going to be like, well, there shouldn't be a space in there. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, fuck you, dude. I'll do it myself. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself, period. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there micromanaging the fuck out of people and trying to explain to them what you really wanted in the first place. So you might as well just do it yourself if you have the time, energy, and money, which I do. Okay, question mark. Now I'm looking because it says 99 out of 100. Now, that means I got one more spot. I can put something. So I got to decide where. And I do remember now it was going to be this one. <clears throat> that little crazy cash symbol. This one here. Okay, there's that. Now that's it. <clears throat> What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? Give only one peso now. Okay, America and Philippines. And then the Philippines is there. I Philippines is number one in my heart more than America now. However... The reason it's second in this thing is because I'm American first and also Filipino, but that's not really the main reason. The main reason is because the Filipino flag is connected to the Gcash word because Gcash is in the Philippines, not in America. So I'm not going to have it with the Filipino flag first, which is my heart. I love the Philippines more than America. Still, I'm an American and I will always love America. <clears throat> I just don't like it. <clears throat> And there's a big difference because it's not a Christian nation anymore. But the Philippines always has been and always will be a God-fearing country. And you should see it out here. They actually do the Bible. It's in their fucking government. They <clears throat> swear to the Almighty every day that they're going to do, uphold, and take care of the citizens. So this is my dream country. And you should check it out and come here because it will be yours too. If you love Yah. If you don't like Yah, then... You probably won't like it. No, actually, you will, you will love it. If you're, a, if you're a Satanist, come here. If you're an atheist, come here. 
We invite all sorts of people from all over the world. Just come. You're going to love it because guess what? The Christian people are giving and caring. They're going to help you for free. No matter what sometimes. So they'll give you a shirt off your back. And I've done that myself. <clears throat> and so give only and my shoes off my feet. And other Filipinos have done the same for me. Giving them, giving me their shoes off their feet for me when I had none. Or mine were broken. Give only one peso now. American flag. Filipino flag. Gcash plus 63091234449744. It's a great number she got. Zero nine one two three four 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 nine seven four four. It's kind of easier to memorize. I still don't memorize it though. I don't fucking want to memorize these long numbers. They're fucking confusing to me. Only seven digits are we able to really memorize easily, like a social security number. For example, one two three nine four eight seven five five. It's easy to remember seven digits. That's why there's seven digits in the American social security number and phone numbers. However. Not so in the Philippines. There's the area code, which is two digits that don't really count. And then the other number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> twelve characters. No wonder it's very hard to fucking memorize. Because you can only memorize about seven things at once easily. So, anyways, that's that. Now it says add description. Okay, now the description I can also add on all of them, but I'm gonna show you a description here that I have right now, this is my latest description. So I got H title, that means helpology. Here, first off, I'll show you what Google Keep looks like. I've got pinned comments, no, pinned notes, H1 of two and H2 of two. H just means helpology. So it's helpology, note one of two notes, and then helpology two of two notes. So that's the first note and the second note. And then you've got the bad news, and then you've got Mm. Others, most important to us, after yeah and each other, of course. Thank you. I should say yeah. Oh no, this was mom face comment, so I put it exactly what it said. Thank you for God for my five precious jewels. God is so good. To God be the glory. And then it's in Filipino. There's mom faith. And I was <laughs> she's looking at me like, mm-hmm. So, anyways, we love each other, we just don't get to see each other. But one day a week, and sometimes none of, no days a week. Like this month, I'm going to see her maybe two days out of the month. So that's sad, but that's life in the big city right now. Because I got so much work to do, and so does she. And we're better off not being together right now so we can get things done and we can build our mansion. Well, I'm building her the mansion. She can't afford it, but I can. So, and if I start doing helpology in a big way, then, of course, I will be able to earn an income and pay myself a salary. Right now, I don't get a salary because I don't, it's volunteer work. I mean, I'm fucking the founder of it, co-founder of Mount Faith, and I founded it. And I don't have any employees. I don't hire anyone. I don't pay anyone. I do it all myself. And I've been doing that for like 30, 40 years. So anyways, my goal was to do business with no money, but not only business, but a nonprofit Christian ministry to help save as many souls as possible. And we're on that path right now. So anyways, then there's all these other notes you can put. And so... Oh, the dear fuck you letter. That's going to be great. I'm going to put that one as the as the comment. Dear fuck you. It's supposed to be fuck you bitch. So, I don't know why that's an old one. Anyways, because it's going to be the dear fuck you bitch letter. Dear fuck you bitch. Dear fuck you bitch. And then it'll have the Urban Dictionary definition of fuck and bitch. So then you realize it's not just swear words. It's actually the words mean something different these days. And so this letter will go down in history as a very famous sales letter. The dear, they're going to call it in universities. If we have time left before Yahushua comes back in September, on, on September 11th, 2028, Google that shit. Um, there's a YouTube channel called 2028 end 2028 end 2028 end watch his fucking videos gabriel he was my next door neighbor yeah i had me right next to him in nashville tennessee one day and i was like holy shit we both had written a book 
And we were both lovers of Yahusha. We call, I called him Jesus at the time. He still calls him Jesus. So this guy is not as wise as I thought he was. I thought he would realize that the name's important. But he's like, oh, I see you falling into the name game. I'm like, Gabriel, it's not a fucking game. It's the name above all names, and it's the one name under heaven by which we must be saved. That's not a fucking name game. That's you got to figure out what the true name is. Anyways, it's Dear Fuck You Bitch, and it's going to be the famous Dear Fuck You Bitch letter. By now, you know you're fucking lazy. So we will no longer waste our time as helpologists. One who biblically and scientifically researches, uses, and recommends the world's most helpful products and services. It's a trademark statement and definition. Therefore, we have prayerfully decided not to make any more videos, reply to any comments, or do any more radio and TV interviews. So if Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, President of the United States, the Blessed Virgin Mary, or even the fucking Pope himself contacts us, you can tell them we said, fuck off. Because now, thanks to you, we're ignoring all messages, comments, emails, and even phone calls. You see, now we're too busy living our dreams as a very private, loving family. So, thank you for being such a lazy piece of shit. Now, we don't have to do any more goddamn work. Instead, we can focus on doing whatever the fuck we really want to. Hallelujah. Praise you. I am. That's what uh, Yah means, is I am. <clears throat> In summary, you've probably heard this most popular quote all your life, but you still have no fucking idea who said it because you're too fucking lazy to do a basic Google search. Sir Francis Bacon said, knowledge is power. Everyone's always says, knowledge is power, knowledge is power. I'm saying, who, who, who's, who quoted that? Like, I don't fucking know. Because they don't even care who said it. And you know what? I didn't either. <laughs> you know, I didn't fucking care who said it, and I still don't care who says it. But I put that in there to kind of just fuck with your mind. On the other hand, it make you think about life and realize that you are too fucking lazy to do a Google search because you'll ask me questions all day long. How do I do this? How do I do that? I'm, and then I teach you. Well, you Google search it first, and I'm not joking. You do that. And then if you still can't figure shit out, then you ask me questions. I'm not going to sit there, teach the same goddamn thing to a million people when I can just make a video and teach you how to do it yourself. You don't need me. I could be dead tomorrow. And then what are you going to do? Oh, I can't do helpology. The founder is dead. Fuck you. You don't need me. You're your own helpologist already. Keep watching the videos. You'll get it. It'll sink in soon. Sir Francis Bacon said, knowledge is power. On the other hand, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind, said some guy that was kind of smart. Albert Einstein, he was kind of smart too. Further, modern day Einstein, Elon Musk, you know, the founder of PayPal and the owner of Twitter, turned it to an X. Yeah, that guy. My, he's the only guy in history that could take the famous Twitter bird and turn it into a fucking X. Now that's power, that's prestige, that is respect. Modern day Einstein, Elon Musk, genius, said, once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. But he doesn't have the question for you, but we do. So you may want to get off your ass and keep asking, answering, and if you're really fucking smart, should be a comma in here. Because that's a separate part of the sentence. Asking, answering, and if you're real... Wait a minute, where's the comma go? It goes here. See, this is the precision of editing. It goes there, okay? Because this is how it's read. And you have to read it out loud to test it. Asking, answering, and if you're really fucking smart, comma, praying. But you won't because you aren't. Now I got the helpology question, but it's really confusing to put that. I'm just gonna put the helpology question. Okay, like that. That's better. The helpology question, which is what Elon Musk is talking about. Once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. Well, guess what? That's true. Once you keep asking the helpology question, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works? to brush my teeth, wipe my ass, clean my room, and everything, have sex, eat, all these things that you do, then the answer is going to be relatively easy. And there's going to be many fucking answers for you that are different than everyone else's. So that's why you need to be your own helpologist. You are already. You're just not that good at it yet. 
or you're very good and you're going to get much better. Furthermore, successful people ask better questions. And as a result, they get better answers, said dumb fuck Satanist Tony Robbins. <laughs> he is a Satanist, by the way. Um, there's videos that prove it. But anyways, I love the guy anyways, because I'm supposed to love my enemies as myself. So anyways, further still, he taught me a lot too, by the way. Thank you, Tony Robbins, for teaching me. I wouldn't be the man I am today without you. It's true. I'm the one. He's the one that I set the goals. And uh, because of him, his personal power tapes. Yeah, they're fucking good still. Watch them. And I even read them out loud on my YouTube channel. So if you want to hear me read teaching them, look under, I think it's the live streams. Anyways, further still, Einstein fucking said, Live your life as if nothing is a miracle or everything is a miracle. Pick one. Moreover, question everything. That's what you do with Helpology. You're always questioning everything. Learn something. Okay? Question everything. Learn something. Or however you want to read it. It's kind of tricky when I capitalize shit. But I try to do it like this. Question everything. Learn something. Said Euripides. History's famous bad boy of ancient Greek tragedy, a rebellious upstart who rejected many of the formal structural elements of drama during his time and wrote a mind-boggling 92 fucking plays. Let's see you write one play and then write 92 of them. Lastly, St. Augustine said, the truth is like a lion. And by the way, Yahusha is the lion and the lamb. And Satan also roars, roams around like a lion seeking who he may devour. So the truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Let it loose. It will defend itself. And that's what we're doing with Helpology, just letting it loose, and it will become fucking awesome in the world. In closing, always freaking remember, and the freaking should probably have one of these. Like that. Okay. Always freaking remember. See, now I don't say fucking. I just switch it up, because that's part of my principle when I write is to, like the memes all say, or, yeah, the memes say it, and the fucking short videos say it, and it goes like this. Boom, switch it up. Okay, it goes, switch it up. Boom, like that. Always freaking remember to switch things up when you're writing so it doesn't get boring. So don't always just swear. Don't always say fucking or fucking. You know, I switch it up, and then I say, always freaking remember which is a more subtle way of saying fucking. It's a freaking, freaking. That's how we say it when we try not to swear in the Marine Corps. We say freaking. The freaking bullshit, freaking this, freaking that. Freak this, freak that. But in reality, we want to say fuck, but we're supposed to not swear. But I'm out of the fucking Marine Corps now. I get to fucking swear all I want. And that's my lingo. That's modern. And I'm going to keep fucking swearing. Call me the fucking swearing prophet if you want. Because I am the fucking swearing prophet. Always the end times prophet, one of them one of many end times prophets, but I'm like the only one that's kind of like Neo in the movie, The Matrix. And you'll see what I'm talking about if you keep watching my fucking videos. Always freaking remember, helpology is the biblical and scientific study of the world's most helpful products and services. That's why the definition wasn't up here first. You would think, well, you should define the helpology first. Fuck you, no. I defined helpologists first. Because that's how it segued. We will no longer waste our time as helpologists. I wrote it that way on purpose. Duh. I'm the editor and the author of this article. Now, and Mom Faith helped me perfect it. Okay, so she's also responsible for this famous Dear Fuck You letter. Or Dear Fuck You Bitch letter. It'll be going down in history as the helpology, the famous helpology Dear Fuck You Bitch letter. In closing, always freaking remember. Da 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 da. I'm going to repeat it again because it's important. Oh, but well, you're always repeating things. Why? Because repetition is the mother of skill, said Tony Robbins. And he's fucking right. You keep repeating things and eventually you'll have that skill. You don't want the skill, then get the fuck off the channel. In closing, always freaking remember. Helpology is the biblical and scientific study of the world's most helpful products and services. In conclusion, Dot, 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 we humbly pray you wake the fuck up before it's too late, bitch. Smite. Laugh out loud. No, seriously. 
Hallelujah. Praise you, I am. Oh. Don't have fun here now. And there's the links to different things. And helpology is automatic. Don't enjoy your life here now. I am the shit. Urban Dictionary defines what the shit is. Heal me and our trans friends and Yahoo's remnant and so many things. Since you most likely didn't fucking click any of the world's most helpful links above, you gotta let people know what the fuck's going on or they won't get it. Now you definitely know beyond a shadow of any doubt, you truly are. And it's supposed to say lazy as fuck. So we already go like this. You truly are fucking lazy. So we go one way. Okay. You know you're fucking lazy. But man, I want to play say lazy as fuck. So and then I want to I have to define it so people know what the fuck that means. So it's gonna go like this for now. And on the other letter, I didn't have it all updated, so I'm just using this old one for now. So, so you truly are lazy as fuck. Lazy as fuck. And then we're laughing at you, dumbass, because you are lazy as fuck. Uh huh. So am I. I'm lazy as fuck too. How many, how may we help you Google something? Okay, lazy as fuck. Question, how can we help you? See, really, it's, we don't say can. How can I help you? It's supposed to be how may I help you, not how can I help you, because the person's not going to, I don't, it's hard to explain. May is for permission. Can is ability to do. So how can I ability to do help you? Or how may I have permission to help you is what we're really trying to say. How may we help you Google something? The answer is, it's not supposed to say question mark. The answer is, Google it your goddamn self, bitch. <laughs> and that's the truth right there. It's the answer. That's how we help you is you do it yourself, you dumbass. Urban Dictionary, bitch. Uh, sincerely, David Yah Christian, ENFJ. Faith Yah Christian, INFJ. Now, it's Dr. David now. And I'll explain that to you later. Dr. David... Yeah, Christian, ENFJ, Faith, Yah Christian, INFJ. Now, what the fuck does that mean? You're, well, we put that in there to see if you are if you give a fuck. Note, ha, you are so fucking busted. You just proved how lazy you really are. Unless you Googled ENFJ and INFJ if you didn't know already. If you didn't already know. If you didn't know already. You get to pick. It's either one's correct. If you didn't already know. ENFJ superpowers, INFJ superpowers. P.S. Kindly feel free to keep asking H question, a biology question. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? To help as many people as possible in the comments by including as many of your most important links. We allow all posts, questions, answers, opinions, and advice as you fucking want. See, that's, that's not good. Because then at the end, it's like confusing. So, I'm going to go like this. Put it right where it should be, not in the middle of it. Like this. Like that. Duh, I don't know why I didn't see this before. This I have not changed even on the other letter. By the way, I'm teaching all my secrets. Learn from me and do what I'm doing if you want to get rich. We want to change the world and help as many people as possible. So, kindly, P.S. Kindly feel free to keep asking the helpology question. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works?
to help as many people as possible in the comments by including, see, I can't keep saying as many. That's the problem. It's repetition. It's not good. I mean, repetition is the mother of skill, but you don't want to write and keep saying the same goddamn statement. You've got to switch it up to help as many people po as possible in the comments by including simply your, that's redundant, okay? To help as many people as possible in the comments by including your most important links as you fuck it, as many, okay? So excluding as many, see, that's the problem. It's as many as you fucking want by including your most important links. I'll just put it like that. Duh. It's common sense that it's as many as you want. Okay. To help as many people as possible in the comments by including your most important links. And then in brackets or, you know, whatever you fucking call that. We allow all posts. Questions, answers, opinions, and advice. Boom. Now, post post script. We challenge you as our beloved, precious, and amazing Helpology community, the H community, to compete and cooperate with each other and vote among yourselves in the comments like Reddit or Quora to see who can come up with the best Helpological, most helpful and simplest way that works advice. Now, that's confusing. So, we're just going to say with each other in the comments. We're not going to vote. I mean, you're voting by liking it. I mean, who knows what the fuck you're going to do. I don't even care. Just fucking do it. Do whatever you fucking want in this section. Okay, we challenge you as our an amazing H community. I don't have to say helpology community, that's common sense. You're gonna know that. You don't have to say it. Respect their intelligence, okay, when you write. Don't fucking talk down to people when they're smart, okay? An amazing H community to compete and cooperate with each other in the comments. Not like that, who cares? confusing uh, with each other in the comments to see who can come up with the best oh no not the best that's already but, you know, okay, see who can come up with the most helpological who can come up with the most helpological the most helpful and simplest way that works advice You can put quotes in there because, it, you know, but still, it all depends. Quotes are redundant too, but sometimes they're important. Helpological. The most helpful and simplest way that works. And then we're going to probably put it like this. It is the beginning of a sentence. Okay, so that definition is also trademarked. That's why we're putting it in quotes, letting people know that there is a Trademark definition of the word helpological. Okay, it is the most helpful and simplest way that works. Advice. Post, post, post script. Bye, bitches. We love you and are praying for you, our beloved friends. Okay. I'm going to put it like this. Repeat it. Friend. is my beloved friends. A friend is someone you know, like, and trust. Someone who wants to help you. Now that is a great definition. And I think I created it. <laughs> I don't remember learning that exact definition anywhere. So anyways, post, post, post the script. If you're offended, I'm truly sorry. Please kindly accept my deepest and sincerest apologies. Now, get the fuck out of here. And never fucking come back, bitch. Yah says we don't fucking need or want selfish fucks like you. 
We're about to evangelize the entire world. And you're so fucking selfish. All you can think about is what you fucking want. Yah also said, he fucking hates people like you. So please kindly fucking leave. Thank you, beloved. Yah says he's only looking for new fucking wineskins. No man puts new wine into old wineskins, else the new wine bursts, the wineskins, and the wine is spilled, and the wineskins will be marred, but new wine must be put into new wineskins. Marcus, Mark, 2.22 from the Sefer. Don't fucking put these little symbols in there, it's confusing. Sefer. Okay. I just cut and paste the thing, so that's why the symbols are in there. I'm deleting those fucking things. It's confusing. And so is this, Marcus. Just fucking put Mark. So confusing, Sefer. Tries to teach you everything. It's cool the way they do it, but like for my purposes, it's different. Okay, why? Mark, 222, Sefer. It's supposed to be in parentheses. Like that. Some people say Sefer, but it's Sefer. Have ye not read in the Torah how that on the Sabbaths, the priests in the temple profane the Sabbaths, Shab the Shabbats, and are blameless? See, that's me, a prophet. I'm working on Sundays, Saturdays. I'm working on Saturdays, which is uh, supposed to be resting from. Friday evening to Saturday evening is what the consensus is. Some things, people think it's in the morning, morning to morning. We don't know for sure exactly, but we're pretty sure it's the Sabbath rest is from Friday night to Saturday night, one day, 24 hour period. So have you not read in the Torah how that on the Sabbaths, when you're supposed to be resting, the priests in the temple profane the Sabbaths because they're working, but they're blameless. So they're breaking the fucking law, but they're not breaking the law. So there's an exception to the rule. And same thing with the prophet. I'm allowed to fucking break the law to confuse you and then find out who my real friends are. But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. He was talking about himself, dude. So he is fucking much greater than a goddamn building, which was important at the time, but not anymore. Temple used to be very important. Now, who gives a fuck? Wherever you are is the church. Period. Okay, you can also assemble together and call it church if you want, but you are the church also. That it were two or more gathered in his name, there is in, in the midst of you. Plus, when you're by yourself, he's in you. Anyways, that in this place is one greater than the temple. Matthew 12, 1 through 6. I could put quotes around there. Maybe I should. Just to make it easier for you guys to realize it's a fucking quote. I'm trying to avoid using quotation marks, but this is important there. And traditionally, we put our one of those there. And we don't put it in caps. It's in caps because when I copy and paste the separate quote, they fucking po populated with all this fucking inaccurate ways of annotating a reference. So I don't like it. But anyways, Dr. Pigeon, Dr. Stephen Pigeon, if you're listening to this, I can change the app, make it to where it just doesn't have all capitals. And so I have to change it every time. And so do other people when they're starting to quote the separate. Maybe you're doing that to stand out, but. You already stand out, dude. The Sefer stands out already because it's the fucking Sefer. It's the most important scripture in the history of mankind as we speak because we're in the end times and they weren't in the end times before and we have all these scriptures put together in one book and they didn't have that. So it is the most helpful and simplest way that works. It is the helpological scripture of all time. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Elohim. And I don't like that word either. It's fucking confusing. So I'm going to change the Almighty. 
Okay, the Almighty One. Or just the Almighty. Because it's plural, actually. Elohim is plural. That love the Almighty. And he's plural because he's God, Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, all in one. He's not different. The Father is the Son, and the Son is the Father. You don't believe it? Fuck you. I'm right. You're wrong. To them who are called according to his purpose. Romain. See, they want you to know the Hebrew and stuff. Some people want to know that. I do not give a fuck. And I don't want you to worry about it either. It's fucking confusing. I tried to study that shit. Waste my time. Doesn't help me learn the Bible. The Bible is more important than fucking Romaim. But study it if you want. I mean, if that's your thing, have at it. My thing is try to study things that make a difference. Not just for my selfish purposes. No Hebrew and shit like that. But that's a, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just trying to be helpful, logical, the most helpful. The simplest way that works for me. And you do your thing. I say this often. You do you, I'll do me. Okay, Romans. And we'll see who's more helpful. And we'll see who wins. Romans 8, 28 through 28. What? That's stupid. That's what it said when I fucking copied and pasted it. See how dumb that fucking app is? Fix it, Dr. Pigeon, please. Romans 8, 28. All right, now, whether... Uh, 1 Corinthians. See, look at this, man. When I co copy and paste a quote from the Sefer Bible online, it says like this. 1, all caps, Corinthians. And I've never seen anyone, and I don't fucking recommend it, to, to yell at people, say, 1 Corinthians! Corinthians. Yes. That's what it is, is yelling in this modern day. Okay, 1 Corinthians 10, 31 through 33. Suffer! No, suffer. So it's just that. And people don't like to read all caps. I know I don't. Unless it's very important and it's supposed to be yelled, like some of the stuff I have up there in caps. But other than that, keep it simple, stupid. Or keep it simple sexy. Or keep it simple stud muffin. Pray for us. For we trust. We have a good conscience. In all things willing to live honestly. And that is true of me and mom Faith and our children. Now we do have 13 children. Between us, she has five of her own. I have eight of my own in America. So the five and furs are here in the Philippines. And I've adopted them all spiritually to include her oldest daughter, who looks just like her, but I've never met her yet. She's a radio announcer. If you Google Ibanez, radio announcer in Porto, we were able to find her YouTube videos. You may or may not be able to find it depending on how your search engine works. Hebrews 13, 18, Sefer. Thus saith the Lord. I don't like that. Thus saith the Master. Because that's what Lord means. Master. Because um, I don't want to get into it, but the Lord is also referring to Baal and all these other things. So, thus saith the Master Yahuwah. And that means... I better start putting it in quotes for people. Okay. Thus saith the Master Yahuwah. This is me as a prophet speaking forth the word of Yah. This is what he's saying to you through me. Thus saith, that's why I kind of put it as the old English, because thus saith the Lord is what people say. But I'm saying to you, thus saith the Master Yahuwah. I am he who breathes life. Now look, it's got a little upside down smile, a sad face and a quote. So that's kind of cool, but not. 
So I don't know how to fix that. I don't want that there. Thus saith the Master Yahuwah. I am he who breathes life. That's better than like that. No one can fucking stop what's coming. That's what he said. And he also said, help fucking ology. Because that's help fucking ology, dude. Hallelujah. Praise you, I am, bitches. He said that. Told me to tell you that. Shalom means completeness. And yes, those are in all caps. Shalom doesn't mean peace. That's one of many things it means. It doesn't just mean peace, you guys. Shalom means completeness, which is what I have right now in my executive suite with all my dreams being lived and fulfilled finally. Hallelujah. That is shalom. Not just peace. Peace is easy. You just sit down and think relaxing, calming thoughts, and then you got peace. And then back to reality, there's a whole bunch of shit going on. But if you have completeness, you're complete in him, and everything else falls into place, then you have shalom. Completeness. Discover the God culture. Enjoy sunshine shoulders. Fair it. What's this? For reals. Oh, yeah. He's saying all this shit, dude. For reals. Truth unveiled. 777. Attention. Fuck the devil with helpology. That's what he said. Fuck the devil with helpology. Get it now? You fucking spiritually blind, lazy as fuck, punk ass bitches. Yahoo told me to tell you that. I'm telling you this is a fucking prophecy from a prophet speaking forth the word of Yahuwah through my lips, through his lips, to my lips, to you. You are too fucking lazy to read, you fucks. Because most of you won't even read this. Blacks are the true Jews, Hebrews. Yo, we the Israelites. So he told me to say that. Blacks are the true Jews, Hebrews. And then, yo, we the Israelites. Black Americans are the true original American Indians. And I got to put a link in there. And Aboriginal Filipinos were black. All Italians were originally black as fuck, man. Everyone was originally black, bitches. Oh, but I hate niggers. Well, then you're fucking fucked. Okay? You're screwed. You hate niggers, too. Because <laughs> when you get judged, he's going to be like, you dumbass. I'm a fucking nigger. Anyways, may save 10% now. And I'm 25% black. So I can, in Detroit, I can say nigger. Nigger, nigger, my nigger. And they'll be like, what the fuck are you saying, honky? I'll say, dude, I'm fucking 25% black. Don't fucking talk to me like that, motherfucker. And then they shut the fuck up. Because I'm Italian Siciliana Mafia boss from Detroit. I'm Dr. Dave from Detroit. May save 10% now. Be sure to say I'm fucking lazy as fuck. No. Be sure to say I'm lazy as fuck. We're fucking serious. So when you contact these people by email or on the phone, say... I'm lazy as fuck, and I was referred to you by Helpology. Can I save 10%? Well, here you'll save 10% using Helpology. You know, it says right there, the code, Helpology. Okay, then. Uh, number two is peterpaul.com, and you can just go through these yourself. And be sure to say, I'm lazy as fuck. We're fucking serious. Repent FM, free help now, best of helpology, helpology. And then there's another one now. And I'm gonna make that cleaner right now. I'm just putting it like this for now. It's gonna be more like well, I put the hot link there because I do paste it into Messenger and I want the link to be hot, so keep it like that. Fuck you, dude. Urban Dictionary for fuck you. 
That's the bell biology, yeah, da, 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 seven more. All of these. Pay links. Very good. Excellent stores. Okay, now that's it. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, baby.